all I can say is holy freaking crap. All right, guys, so the day's finally come. We're ready to start ripping this thing apart and jacking it up and getting those nice tires up underneath of it. First thing we gotta do, we gotta get this whole, this whole roof and frame assembly off and get this front clip apart so we can get down to the suspension. And I'll bring you guys back when we're done ripping apart the front end and start installing the new A-arms. So let's get at it. All right guys, so we got the front end stripped apart. We got the roof off of the cart. We're gonna go ahead and get into the instructions on the lift kit and see what we gotta do to rip this front end apart. There it is, there it is. Nice. got that front end completely dismantled all cleaned up went ahead and took the time to regrease all the fittings get everything wire brushed get it nice and clean and what do you think james i think it's about that time man i think it's about time for a lift dog i think we're about to throw that lift kit on there so let's get that thing unboxed and uh start getting some of these parts over here and let's get this sucker lifted coming together yeah. just putting the finishing touches on the steering linkages just looking mean the old-fashioned way don't quite have a bearing pack or anything like that so this is what happens and then when you also take all your latex gloves to work you get this but that's okay All right guys, so we finally got all this front end put together. We ran a little bit of trouble adjusting the steering. Um, we basically had to max out our tie rod, if you will, all the way. So that took a little bit of doing. A little trials and tribulations going back and forth. This is like my first time really doing a front end kit like this, but we got her. We are gonna have to adjust the camber once we get the tires mounted, but other than that, our steering should be true. Our tires should be aligned, so we should be in good shape. I think there's only one thing left to do at this point, it's just Throw these monster tires on, what do you think? I think that's about it. Yeah, man, look at these suckers. Let's get these on. Let's see what, how she looks. Ah, that is ridiculous. It's 
freaking sweet, man. Dude, this thing's gonna sit so freaking high now. It's gonna be unreal. There we go. Jeez. That looks sick. I can't wait to get it all jacked up and see the rest of them. But we're gonna keep on rolling along. We're gonna get the other tire put on. We're gonna get the front clip put back together. And then we're gonna jump on the back side. All right guys, so we got everything wrapped up on the front end. We went ahead and pulled the cart out, flipped it around and brought it back in so we can get started on the rear end. Um, we do have to go back and readjust the front camber a little bit. It is tilted a little bit in, but we'll get that once it's all set level. But nothing more to do than start getting onto the rear end of the cart. Let's do it. Two grown adults, it doesn't even move you. <laughs> yeah. All I can say is holy freaking crap. All right, guys, there it is. She's all jacked up and lifted, and I think we're about out of time for this evening to, uh, to finish it up. But there's only one thing left to do. I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go take a scoot on this thing for sure. Make sure uh, it's working right. But holy crap! I'm six three and I got a freaking like I'm I'm almost at the ceiling, dude. I hope this thing fits in my garage <laughs> with the roof fan on it. Look at that thing. That is silly. All right, well we gotta take a drive. All right, so we figured out the problem. It ended up being a ground wire had popped off when we dropped the suspension and the motor come down a little bit. 
pull the ground off the starter. So, fortunately, being a high voltage electrician, I have an abundance of crimping tools. So we got to know first impressions. Well, we're hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's awesome. No, Hell couldn't yeah. be happier. Couldn't be happier. Thing, I mean, yeah, it's a little stiff, but you know what? That's quite all right. I'm actually like, I'm not kidding you. I think because I'm went to such a larger tire than the smaller tire, it pushes a lot faster. Maybe it just seems that way because I'm excited because it's because it's done, but. Nonetheless, it's running great. It looks great. Got a little mud on it. Clean that off tomorrow. But all in all, call that a success. Well, that's all the time we got. So in the next video, we're gonna be putting on the rear seat. We're gonna be putting the roof back on, seeing if it can actually make it out of my garage or not. And what else? Oh, we got the trick underglow light set. Mud guards. And mud guards, yeah. <laughs> Try to stick away with a little bit of that splashing. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next video.